conditional probability ang ginagamit kapag ka ang mga events mo ay eh, dependent. So, uh, dun sa previous lesson natin about probability, yung addition and multiplication uh, rule that we did, eh, lahat yon para sa mga independent events. So, ngayon naman, paano kung meron kang dependent events na kailangan mong gamitan ng multiplication property? So, ito yung mga conditional probabilities na pwede nating magamit sa pag-solve ng probability questions. So, conditional probability by definition is probability of event A knowing that event B has already occurred. So, we have several types na, na, na i-discuss ko ngayong araw na to. Yung uh, type po natin is yung multiplication rule of dependent events. So, kung meron kang um, dependent events na kailangan mong gamitan ng multiplication property, ito yung new notation or formula na gagamitin natin. Probability of A and B of dependent event is equal to the probability of A times the probability of B given A. So ito, ang ibig sabihin nito, yung event B mo ay eh, hinahanap mo given na nangyari na si event A. So magkaroon tayo ng mga examples. Ito yung isa sa mga examples ng type 1, which is multiplication of dependent events. Ang experiment natin ay eh, gagamit tayo ng standard deck of cards. At ang experiment natin, it involves drawing cards from a standard deck of cards. So ang event A natin is pag first pick natin, kailangan daw king ang makukuha natin. At ano ang probability na yung event A natin na king, kapag kumuha tayo uli ng isa pang card, e eh king uli yung lalabas. So, gagamitan natin siya ng multiplication property of dependent event kasi yung first pick mo, or yung second pick mo, will be dependent from your first pick. So, yung probability of A and B is equal to probability of A times the probability of B given A. So, yung probability of A mo, drawing a king, will give you 4 out of 52 kasi meron tayong 4 kings sa isang standard deck of cards na merong total na 52 cards. Yung atin namang probability of B given A would be 3 out of 53 kasi given na nakuha mo na yung first king, ang magiging sample space mo na ngayon is 53 with 3 available kings. Kaya, multiply mo yung parehas, meron kang 0.45%. So therefore, using our notation of uh, multiplication property of dependent events, the probability of drawing a king and another king is 0.45%. Ito yung type 1 ng conditional probability. Now, yung type 2 ng conditional probability naman, meron na tayong mga probability or, or probability model or probability equivalent. So, by definition, or by notation, um, conditional probability is given by this formula. The probability of B given A is equal to probability of A and B all over P of A. So, ito yung example na to, meron tayong 70% of students in Mr. E's class like statistics. Now, the 35% like both statistics and calculus. Ang kailangan natin isolve is what percent of those who like statistics also like calculus. So, yan yung uh, probability or conditional probability na isosolve natin. So, yung probability of A natin, yung event A, would be 0.70 kasi ito yung mga group of students mo na percentage of group of students mo nang gusto lang is statistics. Kaya, probability of A, isang event lang. Dun sa pangalawang set mo, yung probability of A and B, it will be 35% kasi sabi dun sa problem, yung 35% nung buong klase mo like both statistics and calculus. So, ito yung percentage nung um, given problem. So, using our formula, P of A and B all over P of A para dun sa conditional probability ng type 2 will be 0.35 all over 0.70. So, therefore, 0.50 would be your probability na yung uh, mga estudyante mo na gusto yung statistics also like calculus. So therefore, 50% of Mr. E students who like statistics also like calculus. So ito yung type 2 na conditional probability. 